more experiments with digital potentiometers controlling the gain of an op amp. And now adding a push button to automatically set the gain as well as manual button control. This is an expansion of the X9C digital pot circuit with the Arduino controlling the gain of an op amp. And I've added two extra buttons now to do different automatic gain control features instead of just me pushing the buttons to control up and down. I'll link the original project video below, but this was the schematic and I've added these extra two push buttons here, and these are gain control buttons. A quick overview, we have an analog input on the Arduino Uno, we have a sine wave which I'm using 2 Hertz at 500 millivolts peak to peak today. The original sine wave is going into analog 1, so I get to use the serial plotter to compare the original sine wave against one that I've amplified or attenuated. I'm using the digital pot in the feedback loop and based on the setting of the pot, the Arduino can control the pot and control the gain of this op amp so I can attenuate or amplify this input test signal. I'll go through the sketch again just touching on the new changes, but first a demonstration over here in the serial plotter. The red signal is my main input sine wave at 2 Hz, 500 millivolts, and since this is a fresh restart, the default gain is minimum for this circuit, which is negative 0.5, so it's inverted from the input, and it's half the size. So, just like in the original sketch, I can push the up or down gain button and automatically adjust the blue op-amp output trace and get all kinds of different gains. The input stays the same and the output now is amplified. I can go back down manually and reduce it to where it was, 0.5 gain. And the serial plotter is auto-scaling based on my inputs. One of the changes I made in the sketch to add auto-gain is a fixed target threshold and I hard-coded this to 600. This serial plotter is automatically rescaling this up and down the gain isn't changing. So my fixed gain target of 600, that would apply to this blue op-amp output trace. Right now it's somewhere over 520. So if I were to push the button for fixed gain target of 600, this waveform is going to pause because I'm going to stop plotting and then I'm going to recalibrate and set the gain so that this blue trace is going to try to get its peak close to 600 but without going over because that's our threshold, meaning it's too high. We want to be as close as we can below 600. So I'll push the auto gain button. Now the display stopped because I'm no longer plotting. I'm running a subroutine to go in and actually check that. Now it figured it out and it set the gain and the peaks are now below 600. So now I've increased the gain and we're up close to 750 on our analog reading. We are exceeding this ideal target of 600. So I'm going to press that auto gain button again and it should go down to 600. Now it's checking what's going on and it's changing the gain until it gets to the target. And now it figured it out and it rescaled it so it fits below 600. So that's pretty good, and the signal looks a lot cleaner right now. I'm not sure what's happening with that. And it keeps rescaling, so yeah, it is staying just below 600. The gain is set and fixed now. So there's another auto gain feature I added called Input Signal Maximum Threshold, and I set that to 740. 740 on the analog input equates to 3 point something volts, which is the maximum I can expect out of my op amp. This is actually a little bit below that, so I can make sure I'm not clipping. So if I just want to take whatever level of a signal I have, I want to scale this to full range, I press that other auto scale button. Now it's going in and figuring out where we're at, and then it's going to increase the gain until our readings are below 740. There it is. It changed the gain after it figured it out, and it's just, it's under 750, so it's trying to target 740. So here's our 500 millivolt peak-to-peak -peak red sine wave input representing let's say a sensor and we've got our output scaled I guess it's around 740 because we can't really 
tell accurately on this serial plotter scale, but it's boosted way up there to get full scale. And what if we wanted this circuit to just be a universal sensor interface where we don't want to have to play around with it, we just want to be able to plug in a different sensor and hit some sort of calibrate button. So let's say we want to put in another sensor that only has half of this red sine wave output capability. So I'll change the sine wave to only 250 millivolts. So now the sine wave going in is half and it just rescaled. So the output sine wave is also reduced. And again, the levels don't really matter. It's just that we put in a smaller signal and now if our full scale capability is 740, we're reading maybe 640 actually. So we've got this new sensor in with only half of the output capability on it. We want to use this generic circuit to rescale this so we can get a full scale input targeting 740. So this is our test signal. We're activating the sensor, knowingly getting our maximum and minimum out of it so that we can calibrate. Well now let's hit the auto calibrate for the maximum possible resolution we can get. Now it's gone in to look at the test sine wave and scale the gain on the output targeting 740. So it adjusted the gain and it's back to around 740. So that's a good practical application of this sort of concept. So let's look at the sketch and just glance it over for these new changes. I've got my potentiometer controls, my input analog signals that I'm plotting, the push buttons, I've added this extra debug mode switch here. I was having a lot of trouble getting this going. I had several bugs and I think I still have a couple, but I can just get it running, so that's okay. It's just a proof of concept. So I was adding these debug serial monitor outputs to tell me when I've entered or exited certain parts of the program. So right now this debug mode is off and it's only going to send out the plotter data. So I've added these new variables here, the fixed gain threshold. I can hard code that to whatever target gain I want to go to one push button. And this 740 gain target on the other push button is for the maximum that my op amp can handle. So I can scale my signal input as best as I can toward what the op amp can put out. And these are just some variables used within the program, no big deal. In the setup routine, we're just initializing the digital pop controller and push button debounce. So now in the main loop, I'll scroll down to the bottom of the loop. If no buttons are being pressed, all that we're doing is constantly reading in both of these analog input signals and sending the data out to this plotter. Then we come back to the top of the loop. But if we do press a button, well, we already looked at these before, manually increase the gain on the pot up or down 5% of the pot. And now with these two new buttons for auto gain adjust, Depending if I want to go to a specific fixed gain or if I want to just go to the maximum gain the op amp can do, it's going to be the same process really. The only difference is I'm setting my maximum signal target level to either the fixed threshold target I want or the maximum the op amp can do. So it will go and scale this signal on the blue trace until the peak is whatever I want it here. So really we have to now go look at the set auto gain routine, see what it's doing. I have some more debug messages because this is where I was having a lot of trouble. So there's some local variables here. All I'm really doing, I have this other routine called get calibration sample maximum, which means go in and that's when the display pauses when I hit the button. It's going in and calculating what gain to set. Get calibration sample max will just go in and brute force, read a bunch of samples of this blue op amp output trace and figure out what the peak is so I'll know how I want to adjust the gain. So right off the bat, I'm trying to figure out if my target threshold is down here, do I need to boost the gain to get to that or do I need to reduce the gain to get to that? So if the maximum of my calibration sample reading is higher than the target gain, then I'm going to need to reduce the gain. My initial gain is too high. So if my gain is too high, I end up in this if statement. If my gain was actually lower than target, I end up in this if statement down here, and that would be the end of setting the gain. 
so the magic happens in one or the other of these. So if the gain happens to be too high, then I'm in a while loop, so it's just going to keep looping until I've decided my gain is done getting set. So I initialized gain set complete as false. I'll set it to true whenever we're good, and then we'll exit the while loop. I know my gain is too high, I gotta turn it down. So I'm trying to turn the pot wiper down toward zero. If it's already at zero, I can't turn it down anymore, and really there's nothing I can do. So I'm checking, is the position of the pot wiper above zero so that I actually have room to turn it down? If so, then turn it down just by one increment, and then we're ready to check again. But if it's already at zero, then there's nothing else we can really do. We need to turn it down. We can't turn it down. So let's just say the gain setting is complete. We're, we can't do anything. That'll get us out of the while loop right there. But if we're still in the loop, now we have turned the gain down by one, and we don't know if that fixed it or if we need to keep turning it down. So we get another sample. We go in and brute force, take a bunch of samples again and get the peak now that we turn the gain down. If the new sample peak is less than what we're trying to get to, because we are trying to turn it down, if we've already turned it down safely below our target, then we're done. So we set the gain complete to true. If not, then, well, we've just turned the gain down one step. It wasn't enough. So now the while loop is going to repeat. The gain has not completed being set, so we're still going to do this. Again, making sure the wiper has room to still go down. If so, go down again, take a sample again, and see, have we gone below our threshold? And if so, finally we're done. Let's get out of this while loop. And then this was just the else statement, so we're skipping all that. We're done setting the gain. And this is just the inverse. If the gain was too low, then we're going through here and trying to turn it up until we get to where we want. So the only thing left to look at really is this routine to get the calibration sample maximums. Again, I had some debug messages because it wasn't doing what I wanted and I wanted to know where in the program am I. So what I'm looking for is what is, I'm sampling this sine wave on the blue trace, what is the highest sample I can get? So I start with sample maximum being zero and then I'm going to read a current sample and I just chose an arbitrary number of samples of 3,500. This is horrible. This is brute force. Really what I should probably do is set up timers depending on what input frequency I have and sample appropriately and make sure I'm using Nyquist theorem. But I, I have a fixed frequency here of 2 hertz. This works fine. <laughs> We're just looking for the concept. So I'm just going brute force, gathering 3,500 samples. So I take a sample. And if it's higher than whatever I've already measured so far, I just keep that as my highest sample. So when I'm done reading, sample max will contain the highest peak that I was able to get. It just reads in and plots out the data. If there's a request to set the gain manually or automatically, it'll go off and do that, and then just keep showing the waveforms. So, a project to control the gain of an op amp with a digital pot both manually as well as with an auto-gain feature. Slowly but surely, these Arduino projects migrate towards something actually useful as well as educational.